Hi, in today's tutorial, we are going to look at proof by mathematical induction. And there are two exercises that we're going to be looking at. The question says, prove by mathematical induction that for n element of z plus the set of positive integers, a f of n equals 5 to the n plus 8n plus 3 is divisible by 4. And b, the matrix 3, negative 2, 2, negative 1 to the power n equals 2n plus 1, negative 2n, 2n, 1 minus 2n. We go straight to the a part which is asking us to prove that f of n equals 5 to the n plus 8n plus 3 is divisible by 4 for all n belonging to the set of positive integers so we're going to start with the base case f of 1 the first positive integer is 1 so f of 1 let us verify that the statement is true for n equals 1 we substitute 1 in the relation we have 5 to the 1 plus 8 into 1 plus 3 and that gives 5 plus 8 plus 3 which gives you 16 and 16 is divisible by 4 so the base case when n equals 1 is true in the hypothesis step we are going to assume that f of k is true so we assume that n equals k would be true so f of k should be equal to a multiple of 4 so we can call it 4t where t is an element of uh, z the set of integers so from there it, now we get f of k which is simply obtained by replacing every n by k in the statement so we get 5 to the k plus 8k plus 3 should be equal to 40 and that is equation 1 and then we we'll go now to the inductive step whereby we are going to make use of the fact that f of k is true to prove that f of k plus 1 is true so when n is k plus 1 we have that f of k plus 1 will be equal to we replace every n in the statement by k plus 1 so we'll get 5 to the k plus 1 plus 8 into k plus 1 plus 3 for this proof to make sense we have to make use of the assumption that we have had in the hypothesis step that statement has to participate in the proof of the fact that n equals k plus 1 is true so that f of k plus 1 should be 5 times 5 to the k plus 8k plus 8 plus 3 that will give plus 11 and now from 1 I can make a replacement of 5 to the k which appears in statement 1 so I have that in the statement 1 5 to the k this is statement 1 so I have to make 5 to the k the subject so 5 to the k should be equal to 40 minus 8k minus 3 and I'm going to substitute it in the statement of f of k plus 1 so f of k plus 1 becomes 5 times uh, 5 to the k which is now 40 minus 8k minus 3 and then plus 8k plus 11 so f of k then should be when i expand 5 into the bracket in the first term i'll have 20t minus 40k minus 15 plus 8k plus 11 so that f of k plus 1 would be 20t negative 40k plus 8k is negative 32k and negative 15 plus 11 is negative 4 and you can notice that uh, in all the terms in f of k plus 1 4 is common dividing each of the three terms by 4 i get 5t minus 8k minus 1 and since t and k are all integers it means that uh, f of k plus 1 is a multiple of 4 therefore the statement f of k plus 1 is true so we can conclude that uh, f of n is divisible by 4 for all n element of uh, z plus the set of positive integers in the b part we are asked to prove that the matrix 3 negative 2 
2 negative 1 to the power n equals 2n plus 1 negative 2n 2n 1 minus 2n so again we are going to start with the base case the base case is still when n equals 1 since we are dealing with the set of positive integers and so for n equals 1 the left hand side would be 3 negative 2 2 negative 1 raised to the power 1 which gives 3 negative 2 2 negative 1 and then the right hand side we are going to substitute n equals 1 everywhere in the matrix there so we have 2 into 1 plus 1 negative 2 into 1 then we have 2 into 1 and the last entry has 1 minus 2 into 1 so that it gives us 2 into 1 plus 1 which is 3 negative 2 into 1 which is negative 2 2 into 1 which is 2 and uh, 1 minus 2 into 1 which is negative 1 and we can see that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side so the base case is true now for the hypothesis step we are going to assume that the statement is true for n equals k and then we use that fact to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1 so if we assume that the statement is true for n equals k then we can replace every n in the statement by k so that we get a uh, 3 negative 2 2 negative 1 to the power k being equal to 2 k plus 1 negative 2 k 2 k and uh, 1 minus 2 k to do the inductive step we are going to make use of this statement that we have assumed in the hypothesis step so for n equals k plus 1 so that we get uh, 3 negative 2 2 negative 1 raised to the power k plus 1 so this is the statement we are supposed to prove and in order to do the proof as i've already said we need to make use of the assumption in the hypothesis step in order to attain the use of that assumption i would start by simplifying the statement by writing it as 3 negative 2 2 negative 1 raised to the power k into 3 negative 2 2 negative 1 this is simply applying laws of indices if i multiply the product on the right hand side since they have the same basis, I'll simply add the powers and it will give back the left hand side. From here now, we are going to make use of the fact that this, which is appearing here, would be replaced by the right hand side as we are seeking to prove that n equals k plus 1 is true. So that statement on the left hand side would then become 2k plus 1, negative 2k, 2k and 1 minus 2k into 3, negative 2. 2 negative 1 we would have to find the product of the 2 by 2 matrices that we have here so to get the first entry of that product the first row of the first matrix will be multiplied by the first column of the second matrix so 3 into 2k plus 1 I add it to 2 into negative 2k it will give the first entry of my product then the first row again times the second column of the second matrix I will get uh, negative 2 into 2k plus 1 plus negative 1 into negative 2k that gives the second entry of the product in the third entry of the product i will multiply the second row of the first matrix by the first column of the second matrix so that i get 3 into 2k plus 2 into 1 minus 2k and then to have the last entry of the product I will multiply the second column of the second matrix by the second row of the first matrix. So I get a negative 2 into 2k plus negative 1 into 1 minus 2k. So simplifying the entries of our product, we get 6k plus 3 minus 4k in the first entry, negative 4k minus 2 plus 2k in the second entry 6k plus 2 minus 4k in the third entry negative 4k minus 1 plus 2k in the fourth entry 
we simplify further to have in the first entry 2k plus 3 in the second entry negative 2k minus 2 in the third entry 2k plus 2 and in the fourth entry negative 2k minus 1 now the next task we have is to actually demonstrate clearly that this statement that we have arrived at is the right hand side of a statement that we're proving where n has been replaced by k plus 1 we recall that the right hand side of our proof is supposed to be 2n plus 1 negative 2n 2n and uh, 1 minus 2n so the statement we are required to prove would be the one where every n has been replaced by k plus 1 the right hand side of our statement would become 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 negative 2 into k plus 1 2 into k plus 1 and then 1 minus 2 into k plus 1 so this is what i'm required to demonstrate by using this statement here i need to show that that statement would be like this one so we start with the first entry which can be written as 2k plus 2 plus 1 the second entry can be written as negative 2 into k plus 1 when you factorize negative 2 and in the third entry we can factorize 2 to have 2 into k plus 1 and in the last entry we have negative 2k minus 1 so what i will do there is that i would manipulate it because i need to have 1 minus 2 into k plus 1 I will start by writing the one that is not there then minus 2k minus 1 since I've introduced 1 I will need to subtract 1 again from the statement so that it doesn't uh, change and subtracting 1 I will have negative 1 minus 1 which will now give negative 2 and finally I simplify in the first entry 2 is common in the first two terms so I get 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 the second entry is negative 2 into k plus 1 the third entry is 2 into k plus 1 and then the last entry has 1 minus 2 which is common into k plus 1 and clearly we can see that we have successfully proven that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1 so we conclude that hence statement is true for all n element of the set of positive integers thanks for watching and for those who are new to the channel please consider subscribing and activating the notification bell so that anytime we post a new video you will be able to get the notification and then watch also comment like and share to your friends so that they get to know more about the channel which has a lot of resources as far as preparation for your exams is concerned